Hello guys, my name is Zaman Ahmed from a legal internet lexicon company. I'm from faculty of law, uh, pursuing three years at LB. Uh, I'm in the second year. So the topic of today's video is uh, I'm going to give some brief introduction or some background about the directive in through state policy that are given in the Indian Constitution. So the first and foremost, it is in the part four of the Indian Constitution. So uh, it consists of all the directive principles of state policy that are given and inside there are articles uh, in which they are numbered from uh, from th article 36 to article 51. So the article 36 of the part 4 defines the term state as the one who has to uh, keep in mind all the DPSP before formulating any policy or law for the country. So the definition of the state in the part 4 will be the same as, the, as given in the fundamental right i.e. the part 3. So unless the context otherwise requires a change in it. Uh, in article 37 the nature of the dpsp has been defined and dpsps are uh, always non justifiable so you cannot go to the court and force uh, by means of any law that, that this dcpsp uh, the state has to mandatory give uh, unlike the fundamental rights which is justifiable so if we talk about some history uh, about the directive principle of state policy so the source was from the spanish constitution from which it came in the Irish constitution. So the maker of the Indian constitution were very much influenced by the Irish nationalist movement that was going out, uh, and this and they borrowed this concept of DPSP from the Irish constitution in uh, 1937. So the Government of India Act also had some instructions related to this concept, which became an important source of the DPSP at that point of time. So the D DPSP have been greatly influenced by the uh, of the social policy that was going on at that time, and Indians who are fighting for the independence from the British were will greatly influenced by the movement and independence struggles uh, that had taken at the time of uh, at Ireland so at that time to free themselves from the British rule and move towards the development of their constitution so DPSP became an inspiration for India's uh, uh, independent movement so to tackle social economic and various other challenges uh, across a diverse field uh, so DPSP and fundamental rights have a common origin so the Nehru report of 1928 contained the Swaraj constitution of India which contained some of the fundamental rights and some other rights such as the right to education uh, uh, which were not enforceable at that point of time so the sapro report of 1945 divided fundamental right into uh, justifiable and non justifiable rights so the justifiable rights the one which are enforced in the court of law are included in the part 3 of the constitution known as fundamental right on the other hand there were non justifiable rights which were listed in directive uh, which were listed as directive principles uh, which are which are just as a guide to the state to work on how the state should be work and what are the obligations of the state and when they have the proper resources to do so they can implement at their own free will so they were included in the part 4 of the constitution and directive principles so the constitution assembly was given the task of making the constitution of india so the assembly consisted of elected representative and dr rajin prasad were elected as its president so both the fundamental right and DPSP were enlisted in all the draft of the constitution uh, the uh, the one and two and the three that the draft were made while making the constitution prepared by a drafting committee whose chairman was uh, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. So if we talk about some sources of DPSP and the new constitution was inspired by the Irish constitution as I already talked about which uh, so the instrument of access instruction which also became the immediate source of dpsp has been taken uh, from the 1935 the government of india act 1935 so another source for the sapuri report the 1945 which gave us both the fundamental right uh, justifiable and non justifiable which were dpsps so these were the three sources that if we talk about so uh, so uh, the preamble is a brief introduction to the constitution it contains all the objectives which were there in the mind of the drafter of the Indian constitution so according to some scholars also dpsp is the kernel of the indian constitution so the dpsp are the guidelines also for the state which is uh, which it must consider by formulating new laws and legislations it laid down and the policies and all the objectives which the constitution seeks to achieve so the expression like mm, justice socio economic political that is mentioned in the preamble is the ultimate aim that to be achieved through the formulation of dpsp and this is also what the drafter of the constitution had in uh, had in uh, uh, had it in, in their mind at that point of time so the dpsps are entitled to attain this ultimate aim as mentioned in the preamble that is justice liberty equality fraternity also known as the four pillar of the constitution it also lists enlists the ideas of welfare state that the state uh, should aim for so if we talk about some uh, is uh, features of the dpsp so the first and foremost they are not enforceable in the code of law they are not justifiable considering the state may not have enough resources to implement all of them or even uh, 
और इट मे इवन कम अप विद सम बेटर एंड प्रोग्रेसिव लॉज ऑल्सो सो इट कंसिस ऑफ ऑल द आइडियाज विच द स्टेट शुड फॉलो एंड कीप इन माइंड वाइल फॉर्मुलेटिंग पॉलिसीज एंड एनएक्टिंग लॉज सो डी पी एस पी लाइक अ कलेक्शन ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड डायरेक्शन विच वर इशूड एंड दट नाइनटीन थर्टी फाइव गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट एंड द गवर्नर्स एंड कॉलोनीज ऑफ इंडिया इट इट कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स अ वेरी कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव इकोनॉमिक सोशल एंड पॉलिटिकल गाइडलाइंस ऑफ प्रिंसिपल्स एंड टिप्स फॉर मॉडर्न डेमोक्रेटिक स्टेट डेट एम टूवर्ड्स द इंकलकेटिंग द आइडियाज ऑफ जस्टिस लिबर्टी इक्वालिटी फ्रटर्निटी दैट इज गिवन इन द प्रायम्बल सो द प्रियम्बल इन शॉर्ट कंसेंट्स ऑल द ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड द डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल्स टेल गाइड्स दैम हाउ टू डू इट सो एडिंग डी पी एस पी वॉज ऑल अबाउट क्रिएटिंग अ वेलफेयर स्टेट विच वर्क फॉर द इंडिविजुअल ऑफ द कंट्री विच वॉज टोटली एबसेंट एट द टाइम ऑफ कॉलोनियल एरा सो दिस वॉज सम ऑफ द बेसिक फीचर्स दैट वर गिवेन इन द डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल ऑफ स्टेट पॉलिसी सो थैंक यू आई विड लाइक टू कंक्लूड टूडेज वीडियो द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ माई वीडियो विल बी आई विल टेल वॉट आर द थिंग्स दैट आर गिवेन इन ईज डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द स्टेट पॉलिसी वॉट आर द प्रोविजन रिगार्डिंग इट सो लास्टली आई विल लाइक टू सी दैट प्लीज रिमेबर दिस वीडियो डज नॉट वायलेट एनी गाइडलाइंस ऑफ आर काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया एंड डज नॉट सॉलिसिट और प्रमोट एनी ऑफ द एडवर्टीजमेंट एंड द सोल पर्पज इज एजुकेशनल एंड गाइज प्लीज रिमेंबर टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट ऑलरेडी टू सी मोर ऑफ दिस कंटेंट इन फ्यूचर एंड आई विल कमिंग अप विद द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वेरी सुन एंड प्लीज प्रोवाइड अ फीडबैक ऑफ टू दिस वीडियो थैंक यू